Nitish Kumar and N. Chandra Babu Naidu are known for or infamous for moving in and out of alliances. On their part, they say they do it for their states. An alliance that promises a special status for Bihar will get Nitish Kumar's support and one that offers the same to Andhra Pradesh will get Chandra Babu Naidu. The people of these two states may be impressed. They might think how considerate their chief ministers are about their regions. Prime Minister Narendra Modi may have to humor them because with a mere 240 BJP MPs, the NDA government's stability is dicey. But what about the people from the rest of the country? Do you think this so-called special status is a joke? Do you know how much it costs the country? To estimate the cost of giving special status to Andhra Pradesh and Bihar, we need to consider several factors. Three prime of them, increased central assistance to centrally sponsored schemes, tax concessions, and additional grants. First, let's consider the higher central assistance for centrally sponsored schemes. The current funding pattern in the center state distribution is 60 to 40. Under the special status, the union government will have to pay 90% of anything that goes to Andhra Pradesh or Bihar. And these states will pay a mere 10% of the cost. The current allocation for centrally sponsored schemes is 50,000 crore rupees annually per state. The increased burden on the central government will be 30% more, which is the difference between 90% and 60%. The increase in cost per state will be 50,000 crore rupees multiplied by 30%, that is 15,000 crore rupees more. The total cost for the two states will be 15,000 crore rupees multiplied by two, that is 30,000 crore rupees. Second, let's consider tax concessions. The estimated cost range is 5,000 crores to 10,000 crore rupees annually per state. Thus, the total cost for the two states will be 5,000 to 10,000 crore rupees multiplied by two, that is 10,000 to 20,000 crore rupees. Third, the additional grants. The estimated cost will be 5,000 crore rupees annually per state. The total cost on the two states will be 5,000 crore rupees multiplied by two, that is 10,000 crore rupees. The total estimated annual cost is 30,000 crore rupees worth of central assistance, plus 10,000 to 20,000 crore rupees worth of tax concessions, plus 10,000 crore as additional grants. The total cost comes to 50,000 to 60,000 crore rupees annually. Converting to US dollars, the total comes to a staggering 6.2 to 7.2 billion dollars annually. To conclude, granting special status to Andhra Pradesh and Bihar could cost the Indian National Exchequer approximately 50,000 to 60,000 crore rupees additionally annually, which is equivalent to around 6.02 billion to 7.23 billion US dollars. Should India, outside Bihar and Andhra Pradesh, agree to pay this high a price to keep the BJP in power?